Emotion is the language of a person's mental state of being. Emotions influence every aspect of our lives. Sadness, fright, fear, grief, anger, joy, and pensiveness. We can feel ourselves to be alive for the joy that rejuvenates us, for the pain that subdues us and yet teaches us, for the anger and hate that fuels us and often leading us to destruction, for the passion and anticipation that keeps us going on and on. Conditioned by culture and even politics, emotions are portrayed through expressions, gestures and actions. And yet, some facial expressions and their corresponding emotions are universal. Manifestation of our emotions and understanding the same of others will always play a vital role in communication and bonding and shaping the world we live in. Without emotions, our world would be without compassion or love and there would be no cessation of pain and suffering. So, where do emotions originate? How are they formed? How does one learn to express them? Emotions, they say, are innate. We are born with them. A child's laughter or tears are primal expressions, untainted by external influences. The intriguing and often non-verbal interplay of emotions between a mother and her baby is surely the closest form of bonding. Yet again, circumstances and society dictates the expression of an emotion or the lack of it. Boys don't cry, for instance, is a complex example of social conditioning created by primordial notions of roles to be played by men as opposed to those of women. Frailty, thy name is woman. The expression of an emotion may be in not expressing it, like suppressing pain or insult in a manner that does not allow the perpetrator to understand it at all. Victims under torture have often been known to refuse to express their deeply felt pain, hate or anger because they do not want to give their torturer the satisfaction that they have been successful in inflicting the pain. A gamut of emotions may often influence each other, resulting in a complex output. The all too familiar love-hate relationship is a subtle illustration. Ultimately, the expression of emotions is an individual characteristic determined by many complex factors operating together at various levels. But the fact remains that at every moment of every day, we all express our emotions, sometimes involuntarily. Through a subtle smile, a sudden glance, through our reflex and response, our despair, and agony, our entire body language and posture, 
and most of all, through our eyes, the window to our soul.